Hey, so today I wanted to just talk about, um, shoot, my nose running, um, about uh, self joints. And so we're going to take this model here that they basically have in the documentation and modify it a little bit to make ourselves self joins that are going to work well. Um, so let's just exit these, clear that. All right. Um, and we'll start off kind of from the beginning. All right. So as I said, we're just going to take this model, but we're going to use messages. So messages can have comments on them, right? And so a comment can also have comments on it. So why make two different classes to deal with those things? Why not just have something that's a message type that can be commented on, which can be commented on, which can be commented on, which can be commented on, and kind of go through this kind of recursive loop um, where it's basically adding things on each time. So like we add another comment on to, well, for the employee example, um, we can have one employee who's a subordinate to another employee, but who also has its own subordinates, right? So you could have a manager, and then you have a president who would be the manager of the manager, and then work work its way down. Cool. So same with messages. Um, so we just set that sort of idea up. So basically, I just made a new table that has a description, a title, and then it references comment with index true. The key part of setting up a self join is the, are these two things. Basically you have to say, hey, I'm gonna have many comments, this message is gonna have many comments, and it's gonna self-reference itself to, with this class name parameter. And then you have to say which foreign key it's gonna be, and that's gonna match this foreign key here, so comment underscore ID. So obviously if we, when we make that migration, so here's the migration and you get the foreign key of comment underscore ID. And here, the, here we go. So, cool. So now a message could have many um, different comments. So let's go ahead and play around with that. All right, so I've already got this herb about enable. And I've already got a, made a couple of messages so I can keep this thing a little bit short. All right, so here are my messages. So I have a description of all the things about me today. And the title is October 12, 2016. I don't even know what date it is, sorry. Um, and my first thing is gonna say sick. So sick is a comment about all the things about me today. Now somebody might have wanted to comment on this. And so I made another message that said so sad as the title and we are glad you are not here. Um, please dance the best. Um, that's what it actually says. So, um, so how would we make these associations given this, right? So, a comment, one comment, should belong to a single message, but that message should be able to have many comments. So, we should be able to go and get this one, and how we get that would be. Um, message about last, right? And then we should be able to get all the comments about that one. So message at last, and that's the first comment about all the things about me. All right, now, if I wanted to add another comment to this one, so I might wanna say, hey, let's go ahead and add this one and update this one so that it's also a comment about things about me today, which is not. Um, it's actually a comment on this comment, which we'll do in a second. But what we do is we wanna set this comment ID to this thing's ID, right? All right, so how we do that is, let's just set a variable. So um, first comment equals comment dot first. Oops, message dot first, sorry. Sweet. All right, so there is that. So now we have this first comment. So we're gonna attach that first comment dot comment, right? Because it's a comment on something. Maybe we could change our text to be like comment on if we really wanted to be a little bit more um, syntactically smooth. But so first comment is a dot comment equals um, 
message dot last, right? And then now we should be able to say first comment dot save. There we go. And now we should be able to say, hey, let's look at comment, or I'm sorry, message dot last, right? So message dot last is that one that's all the things about me today. And then if we say dot comments, right, there are the two comments about me today. All right, so that's fine. That's kind of like a normal join, join sort of situation. But what if we actually wanted this comment to be about our second thing? Because this is actually a comment on a comment. Well, that's not too bad either. So we should be able to say something like comment. Um, so first comment dot comment. Instead of being what it was, we're going to set it to the second one. So messages or message dot where ID colon two. So now we're going after this one dot first. All right. And so now we should be able to say something like first comment dot save. So that's the update. And now we should be able to do something like what the comment is about our second situation. All right. So how do we do that? Is we'd say message.where id equals first. And this is the dot comment, is what it's commenting on. So we should probably change that. And then dot comments are all the comments about that one, which is that first one. And that's just because we set it up that way in these things. So if we said belongs to comment on, which would make it more syntactically elegant. Um, which you should be able to do. So let's just do that reload there. So now we should be able to message or first dot comment on. Oh, want to comment on. Oh, well, we'll just leave it. Cool. Um, All right, so this one's not commenting on anything because it's just a, a normal step. But now we should be able to do first dot comment, or sorry, first dot comments, and get the other piece, and then work around from there. Cool. All right, I'm gonna stop there. Hopefully that was not too unclear. Sorry if it was. Um, shoot me any messages if you have them. But definitely play around with this. It's kind of fun. So uh, cool. All right, talk to y'all soon.